welcome back to the video. So it's been a while since you've all heard my voice here on the Chimney Clan YouTube, but I've been unfortunately busy and I will be posting around after this video my Twit Longer as well as my stream schedule for more updates about what I plan to do in the future as well. So please look forward to that. But for now, we're going to go um, get ourselves into this guide, which is overall well, one of my favorite events. And even though I say that as I don't have any event points, but unfortunately I have been busy. So we have over here, Trope Qtopia Arabian Nights. You might know this from the original voting back in um, early D4DJ Groovy Mix where we had a lot of different mixture groups and this was the most voted group as well. So this is a little bit of kind of a tribute to that as well. What's also pretty cool is that they actually have a mixed song as well, uh, which is right here. So this song right here is uh, one of the first releases, but now this is the official like main event that we have here on the server. This is another mixed event. This one typically focuses on multi medley live. And as you can see, there's a lot of different ones within this. You have stuff from Happy Ralph Lauren made in Lyrical Lily and then the Koi Melody, which is obviously focused on Noah, um, especially Noah's power. So this event is going to be more focused on overall total power up. We will get to more talking about this when we get to the unit formation and how you can go um, change up the medley task to go fit your liking. But we'll get to that in due time. So we'll start off by kind of going over a little bit of the events. We did mention that this was a more multi-medley live, so you'll get some of those nice uh, different mixes that we have uh, around that. What's also great about this is that we have uh, thorough rewards, of course, and the rewards uh, have a lot of different groovy discs as well, so it's very good uh, to utilize. Then you also get some of the main uh, points that you can use for extra training as well. And you can also get yourself a uh, Noah over here. Uh, let me, taking a look over here within the exchange, you can get some uh, rare stamps. You can get the Arabian Nights background as well. Here's a little bit of a preview of what it potentially looks like. And uh, this is actually a pretty cool background as well to have. Then you also have um, some main items. This one is focusing specifically on an all parameter over here and also has a doll of uh, Fermi. Then um, you can also grab this one over here, which is uh, one of the old uh, three stars for Mooney as well. And this is also a cute attribute, so it can be highly implemented. Definitely recommend this is one of the first things that you get over here. So we actually do not have um, to get Noah directly. You would have to go play through the rewards section. So you can get Noah around... Uh, Two th um, two, 20,000, which should be pretty doable if you want to go spend a little bit of that. These events are always don't take up as much resources uh, compared to in the past, so you don't worry about that. You can also get some more Noah uh, 3, so you can get two more of those around the 200k and 300k area. Then overall, you have overall these titles, and they also have a side uh, magic lamp as well, which is good parameter to uh, as well as uh, make sure. It has no chill and it also has um, just mysterious smoke overall. So there's that. So you can go compete for tiles right now. We're currently two days until the event ends, though, or less than two days until the event ends. So and you also have some daily point rankings as well with top hundred, and then you have medley titles as the main stuff. Uh, we look also in terms of the main missions that we have over here. We have our usual um, energy event top clear with 5 voltage do multiply like two times and interestingly enough you used one ruby disc um, this one um, you don't have to go spend so much unless you really want to go um, try to do this event at the last minute but these are some nice options that you have to utilize so this is going to be the Ketopia it happens uh, on the daily other than that it's time to go take a look within the gotcha section so we're going to start off over here within the stuff that we have to do with the gacha, and we're going to start with Daybreak Jewel Muni Onarto. So this one has 36,237 power, um, a good focused heart technique which is going to be the main uh, parameter used, which is 16,528, 12,828 technique, and 6,881 physical. The main skill that they will uh, that this card will be utilizing will be uh, five second and nine seconds, score up 50%, and heal of 300. Uh, this being also a force. Uh, this also has this passive of Ruby Time Solo activation with a groove charge boost of 50% up. 
So um, if you have a way to sack into this, uh, it's very good. Um, she's unfortunately the only happy around member, and this is going to be the same case as this Krimi over here. But uh, overall, this is a pretty good card and could be utilized for the future. Um, as we mentioned before, there was also the three star on um, Mooney that you can go grab in the exchange if you're uh, unable to get this uh, Mooney specifically. Then we'll move on to Moonlight Dance Saki Izumo, which is the other four star. So this one has a power of 36,073, a heart of 7,052, technique of 6,736, and a physical of 12,285. This also has the same exact ability skill, 5 second, 9 second, square 50%, and heal 300. So, and also, but this one has a different passive, which is tension reduction 20% up when miss and bad, and constant score 6.25% up. Um, I'd say that this is more of the important one because um, if with the events uh, Noah 3 star, this is a very good uh, synergy to have because you can build a Photon Maiden team. And um, this is going to be the main part of the focus on as well. You can substitute it with Mooney uh, overall, and you'll have pretty much a very good event bonus with the addition of the Mooney 3 star, if you can get this one, the Saki 4 star, and then the event Noah 3 star. Then we get to the 3 star of this specific one, which is uh, Journey in the Sky, Krimi Shiratori. This one, uh, of course, you know it, she's a Lyrical Lily member. She has a power of 32,179, a heart of 11,897, and also uh, the skill of let me, um, 50 or 5 second and 9 second duration, and then a score of a 25% and a heal at 200. So um, her passive also is score 2.5% in up auto mode. So um, this is actually a very good card when considering that the passive will be very good for um, if you're doing some auto tiering as well. This is not a type of event that I recommend for auto tiering, however, just because auto tiering uh, is more suited towards stuff like poker and maybe bingo with an exception on that. But this is a potential option that you could be looking at as well. So we have that overall as the main cards over here. You can kind of see the animations. And now we will get to the main team building. So here's a example team that I have made over here. Um, this one overall has like a ridiculous amount of um, uh, power utilized for it. I have all matching. Um, I have all matching with that. So we have an 80, 80, 80, and 80. Um, this one, of course, is very powerful. The one thing I do advise if you're building a team similar to like this is you should go to uh, the layout over here and choose it based on how much big numbers uh, you have. If you have uh, arrangements such as a 1111 for uh, team building, such as like Happy Round P, P, Difa, Maiden, and, um, and um, Mermaid, for example, this is for more future stuff you can go decide which one do you think out of the four of them is the best you can kind of cross out since supports don't matter if you have like a rondo or lyrical support that's kind of overall irrelevant but the main focus overall here is four on maiden so we're going to select to to four on maiden and then we take a look at my unit formation over here which is at 244k very good um this is utilizing with uh, the event bumps as well and um now we can kind of go talk about um cars that you could also build around so with this type of event, you do want to go build around rather more attributes than uh, than units. But I'll start with talking about the cute cards that you can utilize. The first um, section that you can go take a look at was the original event that was cute with focusing on Rondo, Lyrical Lily, and Mermaid. So you can definitely go grab some of those cards from that specific event. The next thing that I would definitely recommend is uh, Birthday Yuka if you go pull it as well. This one though does not have any um, synergies with any of these cards unfortunately, but something that's good to potentially implement. When talking about the uh, cute cards specifically, now this is a very great um, time to utilize stuff like one of the best supports, um, which is right here in the Gisa. You could use that as well, though keep in mind she is also a Rondo card that doesn't have as much synergies. Other cards you can potentially utilize if you want to go build around Lyrical Lily uh, within first anniversary include first anniversary Harna. You can also build around first anniversary Dahlia, which is a cute card. Uh, the first anniversary Noah, now this is a very good card, especially uh, for the event 
Noah is a three star in this event, but you don't have to utilize it. If you have this Noah though, then that's very good to have. There's also first anniversary Estra and first anniversary Rinku as well. I'd say you can definitely utilize first anniversary Rinku just because um, you can also, if you get uh, Moonies, either three star from the exchange or four star from the event, these ones you can potentially use. So. Um, I actually take a look at this, and apparently I actually do, unfortunately, do not have the cute um, Mooney, which is a very good card to have. Which I believe, if I am not mistaken, this was also from the. Uh, no, this is a different uh, Mooney. This is Sparkling Bunny Mooney on Naruto that I'm talking about. But so this is potentially a three star that you can utilize as well. The other cards that you can use is the three star hero as well. This is from the. Uh, Rondo Lyrical Lily D4 Fest event. Uh, you also have uh, Dancy Splash Ibuki Nijima. Um, this round um, can utilize for stuff uh, if you've es uh, especially gotten it from the... Um, I'd say this was from the last D4 Fest before the whole... before the whole next one. This is the one with Esra specifically. Um, you also have the main uh, cards from coming from one of the Rondo events, which is I think is the uh, the cinema event. Uh, this one has of course Aoi as the four star in it, so you can use some cards from that. Um, now I can also talk about uh, Mooney and the Happy Around um, video game uh, sort of deal. Uh, this one also has a lot of uh, stuff as well, and if you have uh, a lot of Happy Round, you can potentially build around Happy Round 2 as well, since they had an event that. We unfortunately did not get the event, but it is something that you could potentially build around. Then we can go to, uh, in terms of cute, the first event, which is, which is of course, the Singapore collab with Nonstop the best. So, of course, as you can take a look, I have actually one of these cards. So that's a very good example, but I am not playing this because the synergies are pretty bad because most of it focuses on around either Happy Round, Lyrical Lily, or Full Time Maiden. The other ones you can potentially look at are Birthday Ibuki and then uh, Birthday Hero as well. Then you can also look at the... Um, this one actually unfortunately did not come out in, in, in um, EN but uh, as an event but you can utilize the foil maiden events if you especially transferred in the great thing about this is that you have a four star noah which is very good to have and you also have a four star toa and a three star saki so those are good examples to utilize then we get uh birthday mooney as well and that's of course kind of self-explanatory this birthday Mooney is a very good card then we also have Michiru, but though the problem with Michiru is that she works better as a support at the moment. So then we go over here to the main Christmas event with um, Lyrical Lily. Again, an event that we did not get in English, but you can potentially build around the Karimi if you have it. Then we get to Birthday Ray as well, which is another cute card. Good synergy for Happy Around. Then we also get um, the main initials now. So we start with the Garden Fairy Creamy Street Tori, which is the one I have over here. So there's that. Another card that's great is the Subaki. I believe I have it in the Japanese version. Uh, but um, that is a good throw card, though, keep in mind with the synergies. Um, Rika is another good card to have as well. She is a four star initial though again um she is not a uh any of the main three groups that we are looking for to have that extra bonus this one though is a very good one which is the starboard saki izumo because this one has both uh, the attribute and the group which is very good to have definitely recommend this we also have esra um esra is not unfortunately um able to get those extra points then we also have the Harna, very good for if you want to go potentially build through a Lyrical Lily team. You also have na uh, three stars such as Nagisa, uh, Ibuki. Ibuki is good if you want to go build around Photon Maiden. Uh, and then you've got Yuka as well and Rinku as some of the main thorough examples of cards that I definitely recommend in this. So, um, and then to kind of uh, conclude it off overall. I'd say if you want to go build around group, I'd say recommend number one, Photon Maiden, because Photon Maiden is, of course, with both Saki and Noah, so that's easy uh, items usage. 
and then the rest you can kind of just like not really bother overall uh, what I do recommend though is that if you want to go build around such as like happy around or locally because you have more of those cards you can definitely go build around those as well it leans more towards uh, working in the favor of photon maiden since there are two of them and that should be overall it for today's uh, guide uh, the event, of course, will be ending on the 29th at 1 a.m., so feel free to go um, grind it around this event. You'll have two more, uh, less than two more days to utilize this. Other than that, thank you all for joining in. Continue to embrace the darkness, and we will see you all in the next video.